Good morning, America. <laughs> How do you like that intro? <laughs> you know why? Because I was watching uh, last week, Good Morning Vietnam, and you know Robin Williams, he gets on there, you know, radio stations, comedian, and he says, Good morning, Vietnam. Anyway, that's one of my favorite movies, but I wanted to say good morning, America. Um, anyway, I, I just, that was just in my head right now while I was prepping to uh, begin this video. Oh, this is going to be um, part two of this mixed media on the second page, and I was checking her out and if you can see she's got the beautiful blues and she's got these the beige and the and if you can see in this area right here it's got that that pink pinkish color and then over here where these buildings are there there's got some green in it um yeah so i know that uh i want to be able to transfer those colors in here somewhere and eventually but i am going to begin with using some barn red and this is my older paints that i've had in my bins and thank god they still work so i'm going to apply this color on here first and dot it here and there so this somehow shows up so i'm going to go ahead and clear this away She's my inspiration board right now for color, to adding some of the colors. Let me get these paint brushes out of the way. And let's move this here. Ooh, excuse me, move my color palette. And this is the color that I'm going to be working on today. It's the barn red. It's so beautiful. Put my color palette away. All right, so we'll go ahead and continue on with this. And what I want to do, I did clean up some space. I'm losing some real estate here on my table. And, you know, it was nice and cleared off. And I think that's how we all start off, right? Until we start getting involved with our whatever we're making and I hope everyone's doing really well today what you guys making what you guys doing oh hang on let me, let me clear this off. pull this little cork out that's how long I've used it see it developed a little these little dried pieces it's a little cork it <laughs> and it developing over years of non-use okay so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, take that oh that's probably a bit too much oh i didn't dry out my brush i was gonna start uh the second video last night but then hubby w w do hubby w do dog came in and um said oh i found us a, a movie to watch <laughs> and i said okay so and he says, and I made us something. <laughs> I said, what? Well, he made us some um, French fries, seasoned fries. Um, we It's one of my favorites that we I buy, or he buys now at, from Walmart. When he goes, he buys it. When I go, I buy it. It's the Checkers seasoned fries. Oh my gosh. So yummy. And we put it in our air fryer. And it comes out so yummy. So anyway, he made some of that. some of this let's get started in painting and bringing in some of this color here I just oh, that's a little much here I'm going to take a little bit of water to spread this around because it was a little thick Wow, a little bit goes a long way when you add just a little bit of water. I was just going to dry brush a lot of this on here. But as you can see, this water is spreading it and actually producing that patina that I wanted. Remember when I showed you that picture of her? 
had that little bits of pink in it. And this barnyard red adds that. So there you go. Oops, a little thick right here. Let me spread that out a bit. And you know, we'll have some on these little cogs. Can you see that? Yeah. I'm just dotting some of that around. So I figured that if it goes on a little thick in areas that you don't want, just kind of dip that brush into some water. Let's see where I'm at. I'm looking at it like this. Just a tiny little drip will allow that to. It actually acts like watercolors, and then it's it goes into these little grooves, you know. So I like this technique of sort of using it like a watercolor. I just bring some a little forward if it's too thin. Let's get some of these in this number here. Around the five. Get some of these butterfly wings. Oops. Okay. Do that one more thing. Just run that along that spine. Okay. Now that's looking. using my little board here and seeing if I have the coverage that I want and I think that looks pretty good yeah okay and so what's ever left on here I'm just gonna add it to some of these cogs here dot it like that since it's on my plastic mat and whatever's left just gonna dot some of that on there yeah okay so let's go ahead and clean that brush off clean the palette off I'm just gonna go ahead and move these cogs on here so when I need to mop up some of my paint, I'm just going to transfer it onto the cogs. Okay, and gears. All right. That's looking pretty good. So I'm going to get my heat gun real quick and dry some of this off here in the corner. Especially because it's a little wet, but it's given me that that I want down here down below that's gonna be pretty nice right this one hang on I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off you don't need to hear this noise I'm gonna pause it and I'll be right back okay I'm back and now I was looking at this board and I like this um, beige area which I probably when I come to think of it, I probably should have left a little bit more here and there, but that's fixable because if I take, let's see, choosing from my color palette, I don't think I, see, to get this beige, I'm probably going to take, that's going to be a little too mustardy, but if I take this chest, this is chestnut, no, what was that? Nutmeg? Uh, yeah, it was nutmeg. That might work if I lighten it up with some antique. 
antique, uh, what you call it? Antique parchment. Let's see. Let's just see. Let's just see. Let's have a bit of a discovery and a play. It's been a while since I've painted, um, so my color knowledge is just a little bit wonky, but that's okay. Since I'm getting back into using my paints, it's just like, you know, if you've ridden a bike, right? If you've ridden a bike, you can... What's that? How does that go? If you've ridden a bike, you'll know how to... Oh, anyway, help me out, people. Let's see. Uh, how, what is, I need a little more nutmeg on that one. Made it too light. Um, gosh, what is that thing? If you know how to ride a bike, you can get on it again or something like that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you'll help me out, right? In the comments. Okay, let me try and mop up some of this white here. It's just, ooh, this antique parchment. I mean, but it's getting pretty close, the color here. So if I kind of take a lot of this off this brush, or actually, where's my, I'm going to wipe it off. Just take some of that. just go in here see that I'm kind of spreading that color out a bit probably should use a smaller brush let's see I think this one's gonna work to get into inside some of this I'm not trying to get it on the cogs but like in between the cogs. Okay, so I think I made a, a bit too much of that color, but I'm going to bring it in in here where this number is. You see that? I just need to a bit of water here to kind of make that run off yeah I think that's what I'm wanting it'll all work out though let's just get some down here see along this this edge it has that light beige color so I'm bringing that in on the other side if you can see that oh you know why we're having a hard time I'm gonna pause I forgot to turn on my other light hang on okay welcome back I'm back so now we we'll, with this other light I have a light up that way um, that my husband rigged for me and you can see where I'm going with this now because along this edge I love this the beige and from the tissue I had laid down um, at the beginning so I wanted to bring a little more of that in, up and around this area and I'm taking a little bit of this water so it spreads a little bit easier A little too much right there. Bring around the five. Just kind of brushing that around here and get some of this dotted over. Around. I'm just gonna. I need this brush again because I need to like just spread that out. Okay. Yeah, I just made a little bit too much of that one color. I want to get it. Yeah. 
as I'm looking at it straight on, it's looking great to me. But on camera, it just looks like a mess. But all of us painters know, right? Knows what this looks like. looking pretty good. Some of that in here. The paint's drying, so I'm going to go ahead and use a little water. was going to try and take my, well, where is it? I had my little wet wipe right here. I'll just see something real quick. There we go. That's what I'm going to do. Painted over my numbers here too much with that beige color. And I know I can come back and revisit with some of the black, but then not because it's going to be covered with some copper. So... Let's see. I think we're good on that. Let's see. Isn't that there? Okay. Let's get these guys in here and we'll clean this up. And I that kind of dried up too fast there. That's why I always try to start off with a teeny bit. So I'm not wasting this paint and I didn't want this I could have put some of that on this cog I think but uh, there went my mind <laughs> totally forgot to do that that's okay <laughs> getting another wet, wet wipe here and let me see where that little one is at here This is just a little too thick right around in here. So I'm going to take some water to this color and loosen it up. Yeah. Just dob some of that off. Okay. So now, look at my board here. And I think I'm going to use this next. Um, because if I, ooh, again, then again, I might use this. This was um, a little makeup brush that I got from Ipsy. Those little um, makeup sample bags that you get every month. Well, I might end up using this to fan some of this out. I'm not sure. We'll see how it goes. But let me see. I'm going to have to bring in some of this. Let me, let me just hold this up real quick. I need to add some of that 
actually I need to add some of that green. I'm going to dot it with some of that English. It's not on my color palette, but it's, remember, because when I brought her in, I want to have some of this green going on. We brought in some of this, this pink in here on her, which I have here. Um, and we brought in some more of that beige, and I'm going to bring in some of this green. I'm just going to spread it out here and there real quick, taking this brush. I like this little brush. Okay. And I don't think I need to alter this color at all. <coughs> I mean, I could probably use probably use a little blue because this is looking almost. Nope, that's just fine. Let me just put some around and up in here. <coughs> Excuse me. probably thinking, oh, where is she going with this? <coughs> exactly. Where am I going with this? I just want to have some of this color in it. Just like... You know, like moss. Have a little mossiness going growing around. I don't know if you guys can see this. Let me try and bring it in. This texture down in here. Oh, let's see. What lighting? Let me see if I can shut that off. Nope. That doesn't help it either. But there's these you know, when I was stenciling earlier on in the first video, and I was just kind of like evening it out, just bringing some of that over, it gives it this like oxidating texture feature here. It looks so cool in person. I wish you could, s maybe in this angle, Let's see if this angle will work. But see how that, it's so rough. It's kind of whoops this way rough in here and then where this blue is and the pink it's it's looking pretty pretty kind of pretty pretty looks it's looking pretty nice i like this having this sort of mossy look especially where this butterfly is I'm not going to bring any water into this I'm not going to bring water into this at all and while it's kind of like going over these raised edges, it's going to be covered. Put some over that beige that I just put down. See? Looking pretty nice. I'm going to get some, take some of this now and put some on these cogs. some crevices of the okay these cogs all right in we go mop this up okay I forget what youtuber the one of the craftiers that were um, maybe it was Andrea when she would wipe up her with a wet wipe she'd keep these 
So I'm going to try and keep one of these as I'm mopping along and see what what comes of it. Okay, now, um, let me dry this off a bit. Let me pause it because you don't need to hear this. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, let's see now. Ooh, let me cool this off real quick. I'm just going to take it over to the side and fan it off. It's pretty warm. So yes, I think I'm going to start applying some of the uh, the metallics now and then I'm probably going to end off with using my waxes so I'm hoping this brush is going to work because when I'm when I'm taking this sponge and Devin I just want to brush it over start brushing it <clears throat> over the raised elements so it starts um, showing Mm, depth. So hopefully that'll work. Fingers crossed. Okay. I'm going to start using. I'm going to start using this copper. Yes. I'm going to start using the copper. Okay. Let me shake this up. Okay, moment of truth, moment of truth, moment of truth. I'm gonna put a little bit on there like that, a little more than. <clears throat> okay, sponge, be good to me. Let me know that this is going to work. Please work for me, please work for me, please. Okay, here we go. Yep, here we go. That's, that's what I'm wanting seeing that guys seeing how that copper okay lighting there we go that copper now is picking up the raised elements okay And I could do it. <clears throat> if all else fails, I'll just use my finger, right? And using your fingers would work too. But do you see how it's picking up the numbers now on this project? And then I'll probably go in using my. I'll use my. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I should have probably taped this off. Yeah, I didn't do that. So I need to be extra careful <clears throat> but the sponge is doing the trick so I'm just lightly going around these areas and then I'll come back to the top and start applying some more because as I'm doing this on the bottom the top will be dried so I can just keep adding the layers to it <clears throat> layers of copper so that way it stands out taking the sponge and just dabbing my numbers and getting that a little more predominant but as you can see let's just take you well know, let me just finish this up right here this number three is look at that isn't that cool in between you still see the turquoise and the black and the beige around there being very careful not to <clears throat> being very careful not to sponge in between the raised elements because then it just loses its the patina that we've created. See how beautiful. Oh my gosh. I wish you were sitting in my room with me, crafting along here and seeing this up. Oh, actually, why didn't I think of this? I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. 
Oops, what did I just do? I did something to my balance, auto white balance. Let me go up here. What happened? Oh no. What did I just do? Let's see. What did I just do to my... Oh, I... I'm trying to focus in and bring you up closer. But it's not working now. What? Oh, no. Wrong one. Oh, my goodness. I'm, I'm a goof right now. Ding dong. Ding dong goes the doorbell. I'm trying to zoom in. There we go. Let's zoom you in so you can see. Look at that patina. Are we excited? Are we excited? Is this a pretty awesome? This awesome sauce, right? I'm trying to look at this. As I'm painting this cog, I'm using the sponge so it is successful. See? <clears throat> Just kind of brushing it over and sponging it here and there so these cogs stand out. Watch this. Look, check that out. What? What are we doing, guys? Are we? It's coming out awesome. OMG. Woohoo! It's exactly what I was going for. Watch this. I'm going to... Let's, let's paint up here on the sponge. back and forth <clears throat> oh my gosh that is just so gorgeous right let's see something here I turn that light off autofocus how about if I turn off that light oh let's keep that light off for a minute <laughs> okay now you can you can see it right look at what we are doing Oh my goodness. See, now I'm coming up to the top again. Brushing it over with the sponge. <clears throat> and it's becoming more metallicized. Or metal-like. Oh my goodness. This is pretty awesome. Okay, let me get you guys in a little bit closer. Is that going to... Let's see. you see that? How all those little cogs and gears. Let me move these brushes out of the way. Let's uh, get that over there. Okay, check it out. Check it, check it out. And we're just going to brush this over here. I'm going to run it up top. Because as these layers are dried, the paint, the acrylic paint, starts to stick up here where we've started painting. And even while this right here has got a lot of copper because these little raised elements is not as deep as the others we can come in here and still touch it up with black so it'll stand out but look at how gorgeous that's looking what say you what say you what say you okay <clears throat> Getting some more copper here. Coming back down here. Quickly applying it. On our butterfly. And our gears and cogs. I have my fan going too. So my ceiling fan in here. And that which is helping. Drawing each of these layers. So that. I could just keep running it over and over and over. Oh my gosh, that's just looking so good. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom out. So that way you guys can see the whole board. Check it out. 
<clears throat> what do you think, guys? What do you think? I'm gonna run it over here. Get these little cog elements to start. And remember, at the start of the board, I created that border with the texture paste, and I didn't like it, so I took the, I took my little scraper thing and I scraped it out like this. I just kind of scraped it out, and it's, and it just added that fade, that beautiful fade. It's, I guess that's the word I want to use. The, uh, unless <clears throat> there's another one to describe it. So I'm just going to run this back and forth over these and start picking up more and dabbing it to bring in a little more copper. Ooh, come on, come on, come on. I know I have these little smaller sponge thingies, but let's check that out in just how I wanted the Just how I wanted all these colors to shine through because we're not caught. We've got the pink has watched. Let me let me zoom in real quick. And show y'all what we're doing. Let's see. Stick this up here. Okay. Here she is. Let me bring her in. <clears throat> the lady of the hour. Eliza Doolittle. So what do you think? Okay. Okay. Grab this. Bring her up. Check it out. All right, you see the green up top here? We've got the mossy green going on. Yeah, look at that. We got the beige that evens out the... The whole... <clears throat> art piece? Yep, the whole art piece. Okay, so... Going back, let's just move her out of the way. I don't want to get her all messed up. And Okay, let's bring these back in. And then let's go ahead and keep layering. With this paint. that guys was my hand was my hand in the way was my hand in the way arm okay and I'm taking some of this oh let's let's bring you in to see this I'm working on the number five up here, my well, my favorite my favorite number five. I'm taking chunks of this metallic paint and just creating some raised. See that thick raised spots. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I saw on um, one of the YouTube videos about talking about products and there is this product it's called like uh, mixed media stones see what I'm doing instead of that five just being flat faced I'm giving it a little rise and just like acrylic puddles uh, for lack of better words <clears throat> and take some of this now and daub it on our our 
because I want to mop it up. Mop this up. Come on. And I'll show you what this looks like. Come on. There we go. All right. Let me show you. I think I just did that off screen, didn't I? I mean, off camera because. Do you see the grungy elements? How it's looking all oxidized and. Yeah. It's pretty cool, right? Let's see how that looks. I can zoom in on that. Pretty cool looking, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to take you guys back out. And so here's our piece. Sorry, I hope I'm not making you guys uh, motion sick. Look <clears throat> how pretty that is, right? Look at this cog with its oxidation and the butterfly. It's got that, it's oxidizing in this corner here too. Looks like a lot, but it really isn't. <clears throat> Look how pretty. There's that patina that we wanted, the oxidized, that turquoise, how it brings that in. I think it's gorgeous. I think we've done a, a fantastic job. Because I'm going to show you guys something now. We're 42 minutes in, and I'm going to stop it here in a second. I'm going to, I'm going to quickly pause real quick because I want to dry this up. Okay, I'm back, and let me let's bring out. I want to bring out. I'm going to create a little table here for this. Where are they? Okay. Let me just show you guys something. Let's lay her out real quick. Okay, we want her here. Hello, Eliza. Mm-hmm. She's so snazzy, isn't she? Because instead of her becoming a flower girl, she's become an industrious woman, right? And so she is taking out her... Oh, where is that piece? Where is it at? I know I didn't put that piece up. Hang on. Remember that little time piece that I showed you with the... Hang on a second. The one we embossed. I know I put everything in here because I did not want it coming off of my... I'm pretty sure I did. Please. Oh, let's bring her out. All right. Oh, I had a smaller one of him. Where is, where is it? Oh my gosh. You tell me I lost it. What? Uh, OMG. What did I do with it? Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, you guys. I thought I had every one of my pieces together so I didn't lose it. Let me move some stuff. Let me check out my little table here. Oh my goodness. Here are my frames. So what happened to my embossed elements? Remember, we embossed it. Oh my gosh, it's not here. Here are my little wrenches. Remember the wrench that we were going to use? Oh 
Oh no. Okay, I'll find it. I'll find it. I am determined. Let's see. Get it pulled down back here. Yep. That's what happened. Okay. That's what happened. That's what happened. Oh, thank goodness. Oh my goodness. So here we go. Don't want to spill that water all over our project, right? Oh, that would make me cry. Oh my goodness. Let's move this out of the way. Okay. Let's put her over here. Let's layer this up so we can see what we've done. So you have an idea of what you can do. Now these, I am going to apply wax to this. It might be silver. I might use the silver wax on this. Okay. We have the timepiece. So if we're looking... Here we go. I'm going to use some rose gold on here. But I'm going to wait for all of this paint to settle. Because I don't want that wax seeping into the paint. So we have this idea going on. Okay, so where is... What did I do with Mr. Higgins? He was a small frame like this, Mr. Higgins. All right, let's just go put Eliza up here. My fingers, they're exhausted. They're getting exhausted. Okay, let's bring this clock face here. This branch over here. all these pieces parts let's put her in the frame and this frame was made with the Tim Holtz 3d embossing folder the framelit folder thingy a jigger let me see how what did, did I lose the small Mr. Higgins? The small photo. If I don't find him, I'll go ahead and use the bigger one. And right there. Hmm. Where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? Okay. Let me just check out something real quick with these other frames that I had cut out. And I embossed it. When I made a master board, I had some scraps left over, so I ran it under the embossing folder. And because it's black and white, it's got that black and white. I don't know. Nah, that's just way too bright. White. Okay. So I will metallicize this frame and remember he's going to be cut a little bit smaller actually while I have you on film I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and cut him out real quick These little scrappy bits. Waste not, want not, right? Let's throw that over there because that'll come in handy for something else when we do little clusters and things like that. So let's put Mr. Higgins here. <clears throat> come on, Eliza. Okay. Where's that other frame? Mm-hmm. Come on, Mr. Higgins. Go 
cooperate. There we go. There's Mr. Higgins. I'll have to adjust the, the frame or the picture will be underneath the frame, but let's, I want the claw can slide over here. Oh. Be patient with me. Be patient with me. Almost got it. Almost got it. That's going to be in the center of the, the two letters I and M. Okay, and then with these butterflies, I'm probably going to take the black metallic paint and then sponge it on top of the butterfly features. Because remember, we started off, wanted it to look like. something like that. I'm not going to lay the whole frame down. And then also, which we have an idea, since I can always make another one. Let's see. While we're at it, let's just snip this off. Snip that off. Snip that off. Snip that off. Check it out. We can always lay this butterfly in here and I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Okay. Remember these elements are going to be, are going to be, I'm going to put the the copper wax on the, you know, the copper wax, rose gold, and it's not going to just remain black, but what do you guys think so far? Let's zoom in real quick. It's going to need some lightening up. I'm going to probably lighten it up further. I know, you see how the time factor, the time piece just eliminated a lot of our beige underneath, so I may take that same beige color this I'll show you. Let's just move this aside. The beige in here. So I'm going to have to add it around here because I just realized that this is gigantic, but I want it to be gigantic. Then again, it doesn't need to be in the center, does it? No, it doesn't. So, it could even look like something like, okay, Mr. Higgins. We'll just have, like, do a auditioning, like Rachel says. Rachel at Roxy Creations. She says, we'll just audition these pieces. Be something like that. Take the wrench. We can even go like this. Turn the wrench this way. And the time like this. Right? Something like that. Yeah. And then, where's those elements at? Oh, here we go. These little cogs and stuff, once it's finished, we can start layering this up like so. pieces to help raise the heart piece and then this one can go like that 
Now you'll be able to see some dimension because I'm going to add some, probably some silver wax to that. That's good. Something like, something like that, you guys. Okay, I'm at 55 minutes. So, what do you say of that? Saying you could still see the butterfly and it's and the patina that we created. Gorgeous, right? Wait till we work on these pieces. Um so I guess while I'm off camera, I'm going to go ahead and add the rose gold. Just take my finger and add things here and there and then finish up these frames. So when we come back, I can show you what that looks like. And then we can, um, do we want to start working on the third master board? Because remember, I'm going to have three in this journal. Let me know what you want to see if we want to start working on the third master board and or start working in the um, decorating the signatures so leave me a comment down below and i will catch you guys in a little while peace out and happy crafting